Hi right, guys, Jason back again. Want to do a quick video, a bit of a safety video. This one, uh, this uh, is important safety feature that I think everyone should have. This is a GME Accustat personal locator beacon. Now the reason I bought this is because I went out many times, never had any trouble with it out in the field. But often when you go on a hunting trip, you go out on your own, uh, you separate from the party, and you meet up again at the end of the day when you go back to camp to cook dinner, etc. This, there's two types of PLBs that I know of. This one's the GPS enabled one, and then you have the non-GPS enabled. The non-GPS enabled, if uh, set off, will locate you within a five kilometer square radius. In my opinion, that's shit, right? Get the GPS enabled PLB. It's important. This can track you down to about 10 to 30 meters, which I think is they're gonna, it's gonna save a lot of emergency services time, uh, basically trying to save you if they need to. Now there's certain, there's ways to test this machine without setting it off. Okay, on the back here, you'll see there's a button and on the lanyard here, there's a little bit of a key. So when I push it into that hole and flick down, it'll basically beep, it'll go beep, which tells you the batteries are good, everything's ready to go. Now once a year, they reg they say don't do that more than once a month because you're gonna waste battery power. You get seven years battery power out of these. Now they recommend once a year to go outside, grab the key on the lanyard, put it into the hole again, and instead of just pushing it down and letting go and pulling it out, you push it in, you pull it down and you wait for a certain amount of beeps and what that does is actually going to test out the GPS function of the locator of this beacon to make sure it's correct and make sure it's working. So that the first one is just for batteries, That one, the next one is for the GPS and able to make sure the GPS feature is actually working inside the machine. But again, don't do that more than once a year. To set this GPS off, you'll see there's the, the, the antennas in there and you push that button in and it'll flick up in, and you lock it into the position here and you'll see there's a little hole there. I think you have about 60 seconds after setting this thing off to put the antenna back in to stop it from actually working. So what you do is if it, if it does pop up, it's in a bag, grab your key on your lanyard, push it in, uh, pull the antenna down, lock it back into place, which will, again will stop it from uh, contacting emergency services within 60 seconds. Some people say that you got more of a chance of being hit by a car, and I think that's true. But again, if you go out on your own, or if you're somewhere where you don't know where you're going to be, hiking trip, camping trip, fishing trip, absolutely anything, certainly take one of these. Again, make sure it is the GPS equipped. Don't buy the other one. If you've got five kilometer radius, emergency services will be looking for you for about 10 years. Unless you know, five kilometer radius, it's not good. 20 to 30 meters GPS enabled. It comes with this little neoprene pack which goes in your bag. And again, as I said before, you get seven years worth of battery life. Now people say, Jason, hey, listen, you know, if I get bitten by a snake, I'm just, I'll wrap the bandage. <laughs> Then what are you gonna do? You can't, once you get bitten by a brown snake, taipan, any sort of snake in my opinion, because I, I don't know what they are, I'm going to hit this thing, I'm gonna wrap up the bandage. Again, carry bandages with you guys. I carry two of the proper medical brown bandages that are cryo sealed in my backpack. If shit hits the fan, I'm gonna wrap the wound and I'm gonna hit this thing and then they're gonna come and save me. If you're in outback New South Wales or regional New South Wales, I think it can be up to me from eight to 10 hours to rescue you. Uh, again, that's obviously subjective. There's no real time frame. Uh, if you're on the coast, the Eastern Seaboard, you know, Canberra, those sort of areas, you know, in the mountains of Kosciuszko, uh, even up far north, as long as you're on the coast, I reckon anywhere up to you know an hour and a half to two hours, even earlier, uh, I heard stories about emergency services helping a guy uh, on the eastern seaboard down around Kosciuszko, and he was rescued within 60 minutes. That's pretty good. Again, if you wrap the bandage, you can last uh, with a snake bite for many, many, many hours, all right? And so that's important. If you walk out with a bandage on, you are dead. If you don't have any bandages, you are dead. People say, what do I need this for? Because I wrap bandages around my leg. Then what are you going to do? Uh, if your friends don't know where you are and you can't move, you're going to die a very slow, horrific death. Just because you've got bandages doesn't mean you can get out of there. It means you can just sit there. Uh, and you'll sit there until you die. What I'll do if I got bitten by a snake, wrap the wound, set this thing off straight away. Wait for the authorities and the emergency services to come and rescue you. Do not walk. You will die. Do you understand? Even if it's 500 meters to the car you will eventually not get very far because the blood's running through you, or so the venom's running through your lymphatic system, you will die. Can't say that, stress that enough, guys. For a PLB of about $300, uh, if you find them on special somewhere, you can find them. Make sure you register them at the Australian Maritime Services AMSA. What does it stand for? Don't even know, AMSA. Go to the AMSA website, .gov.au forward slash beacons. 
register your beacon and you can actually, every time you go out, you can actually update the website with details about where you're going. So what I normally do is you can upload Word documents, I put the location that I'm going, the GPS coordinates, where I'm going to be camping, uh, or three positions of camping that I'm going to be going just in case one's taken by some other hunting party. I give two or three, so that at least they know where you're going to be, what area you're going to be. I tell them I'm hunting deer in this area, uh, this particular area, here's the coordinates of the campsite. So they can have a better opportunity of being able to rescue you, minimal time in getting you the medical care you need. If you're out in the bush and you break your leg and you're on your own, I can't see many people, including me, crawling two or three kilometers through thick scrub and bush to get out back to the car. It's just not gonna happen. Again, if it's cold, you're gonna have a major situation on your hands come nighttime. You'll be stuck in the bush, you'll be cold, freezing, and that's yeah, you know, that could be death in itself if it's cold enough that you just, you know, you, you didn't bring the correct clothing out with you in the field because you thought you're gonna be back at camp by the afternoon. Again, a cheap bit of insurance. What price can you put on a father, mother, son, family member that's got kids or families that don't want to see their loved ones die? For three hundred dollars, about three fifty at BCF, you can register it. Make sure you register it. Can't say that enough again. Register it on the AMSA website so they know who, who's got the machine, where you're going, what you're doing, really important stuff. As I said, comes in here, I just put it back in there. Okay, it goes in your backpack. If you go on a hiking trip, camping trip, take it with you guys. GPS enabled, don't buy the non-GPS enabled one. Again, I can't say that you know, too many times because again, you want them to locate you within so many uh, uh, meters of where you actually are. On top, you've got the light too, which is important. Again, so if, you, if it's night time or it's getting in the afternoon, emergency service is gonna be getting there late, that's gonna show them also flicker and show them where you are. The GPS, uh, sorry, the GME, I should say, GPS enabled, Accustat personal locator beacon. Cheap insurance, go pick yourselves one up.